part of the reason VCU is so successful, especially at the Siegel Center, is the support from Ram Nation. The leaders of that group are the VCU Pep Band. 8 Sports' Veronica Romoser has more. When I first started, I was kind of a troublemaker in the band, and I thought that maybe I was going to get kicked out. But they just wanted to increase the atmosphere. Our job was to be disruptive and just make it a, a hard place to play. 14 years later, Ryan Capacci says he still can't pinpoint exactly what sets them apart. I don't know if it's spirit or drive. It's almost indescribable. He says it's the individual members coming together as a team that fuels an atmosphere Rams fans have never had before. It's like something in their heart. And it just continues to get better. Every year it seems to grow a little bit for the fans to gravitate towards what we do. It doesn't hurt that the, the band is really talented and the talent and the interest in the band keeps growing and growing. And that all stems off of, you know, the team being successful and all that stuff. Before. While the band will certainly be making the nearly 3,000 mile trip out to Portland, not all Rams fans will be able to do so. I set out to find out exactly what those fans staying in Richmond had planned for tomorrow's game. Are you going to be watching tomorrow's game? Yes and no. I have to keep an eye on them doing create a thon tomorrow. I'm definitely watching the game. Couldn't go to it because it's so far away. Where are you going to be watching the game? Uh, I'll personally be at Gus's. Home team grill, hopefully, if I can get in. We do plan to be packed. Last year we were sold out almost all the time. Do you think there is more interest in, you know, VCU and the basketball team this year because of what happened last year? Yes, I think so. The previous years, even before last year, I never went to any of the games and wasn't really interested, but now it's a lot more exciting. I think people are more interested. I think it really gained momentum last year. Now we know what to expect. I mean, this year we're doing great. We're the CAA champion. Tell me uh, exactly the history behind this sign. So we had these signs made up for a rally, um, actually out on Main Street that we held. And then uh, I drove it over to FedEx, spent 110 bucks to send it down to Houston. But uh, sure enough, during the halftime show, he got this right behind Charles Barkley. Do you think that this year will be just as exciting as last year? I do. I think they can do it again. It'd be nice if we can make it far. We got a hard, I mean, it'll be a hard road ahead. If they make it to the Final Four again, are you going to send it down we to New Orleans? We will send this down to New Orleans. I will personally bring this sign down mm -hmm. to New Orleans. 